Hey there. I just wanted to show you before I started this video. Um, uh, last pour that I did last week, it was um, the kids Crayola glitter paint that I got for 50 cents each color. And uh, it was red, blue, purple, and green. And you can see how dark it is. And the glitter is not like the color of the paint. The glitter just turned out like a silvery color. And I wanted to show you the difference between this side has varnish and this side is not. So if you see kind of how flat that looks and then how with the varnish it deepens, it gives the color more depth, I, would, I guess you would say. Uh, so I just wanted you to see the difference between an unvarnished pour and like I said this was cheap glitter paint so the pour cost me less than five dollars and I used glue and this is varnished I, I you know I'm gonna probably paint over this but I just wanted you to see the difference and also when I pour on um, when I have bigger canvases and I need to pour off the paint, I use a large baking pan. And um, when you're done with it and the paint has dried for several days, the you know the drip off paint, you know it as you can see it turned to like a brown color. But it literally peels out. Uh, you can use the pan over and over and over again. Um, and so there's the combination of all the colors that I used the other day. So, also, um, my husband got me a new video camera, so I'm hoping that it uh, does a really good job. So today I'm going to do a 22 by 28 inch canvas. These are the things that I'm going to be using right here. I use, uh, these are all going to be deco art, um, Americana, craft bottle paints, and um, they're great because you can put them in with your Floetrol. I do a 50-50 or a 1 to 1 ratio, and this is Floetrol latex based. And you really don't have to add water unless it's a metallic or something that has a little bit more pigmentation in it. Um, this was a satin finish, uh, which is, uh, these, the regular Americana paints look like that. And this is a satin, it's a little bit, it's like the next step up. And so they're just a hair thinner, I mean thicker, I'm sorry. And um, so I have, in this cup, already mixed up the lipstick red, which is a satin finish. I mixed up a turquoise color. I started with the peacock teal, and I added uh, evergreen and Prussian blue to deepen it up. I wanted a deeper turquoise, so that's that color. I have. Um, I had a neon orange the other day that I had in a cup and I've had some left so I've got that and I added bright orange to that one so it's in this cup. This is a combination of marigold and I had some mustard seed color which is almost like mustard color um, in a bottle and I had put some of that in and a, the marigold to make this very warm um, mustard golden yellow here. This is Georgia clay. This is the dark chocolate.
my lamp black that I use all the time. And I also have it in a squeeze bottle if I need more, but this is probably a uh, three or four ounce cup here. And this one I poured on the table and I had to put it back in my cup somehow, but this was a deep midnight blue. I'm not crazy about this color. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's a little, a little on the gray, uh, the gray side. I wanted it really like a vivid deep blue, but I'm going to use it anyway. This one is a Extreme Sheen Copper, which I absolutely love. So that's in this little cup. And then I have a pretty full uh, cup of the Glorious Gold, which is a Dazzling Metallic. So I think that covers all the colors. Here's my bottle of water that I'll just squeeze in to get the right consistency if I need it. And then I'm using coconut milk um, by OGX. It's a anti-breakage hair serum that you get in the hair products and I ordered mine online from Amazon, which is in the link below. Okay. So, I'm going to zoom, zoom you back up here and um, move my colors out of the way. And I think I'm going to kind of do a puddle pour. And, tip, you know, I don't think typically puddle pours have silicone in them, but I wanted some cells because I love cells. So, we're going you know, with the coconut milk, we're going to get cells. And then the video I'm going to make after this one, I'm going to put some resin on one of my paintings. And um, I'm going to do a video on that to show you how I do it. And so that's why I'm leaving. A, this is a butcher paper, which is great. You can pour on it over and over again. And if you like dried paint, this is some dried paint that's ugly colors, but when it dries, I could literally peel that off the table because this is butcher paper and it has a slick side to it. Um, or if you, while the paint is wet, you can wipe it down and it, you know, get all the paint off. But this one I have used multiple, multiple times. I have push pins on the bottom of my canvas and like I said, this is 22 by 28, so it's pretty good sized. And um, I'll make sure it's level here. Just had to show you this is the Wings of Love that I did a while back, and I've got probably about five or six coats of the high gloss varnish on it. And I wanted you to see if you can see all the reflection there, um, how vivid it is pops that color and it's not resin but it is pretty darn close to the um, the glossy effect it, that you can get without using resin so it has that super high gloss sheen to it okay so I'm gonna get started here Moving the camera just a little bit. So I, I wanted to basically go with earthy colors, and I love the combination of the reds, the warm reds, and oranges, yellows, with turquoise. And I wanted you know, a, na a navy for just a little deeper version, and then I'm going to throw in the pops of the gold and copper, and then have that really dark contrast of chocolate brown and black. So 
you can see that. So I'm going ahead and putting down a good bit of black right now. And um, and then now I'm just going to switch off on different colors. That was copper. This is the Georgia clay. really bright. I'm not, I'm not pouring each petal exactly alike either. With the red. Metallic gold, and um, we'll do yellow, the golden yellow color. The chocolate brown. And on these reds, I'm going to do the turquoise. Okay, so I've got the red. I love red against turquoise. I just love that combination. So let's see. I'll do the, the navy blue. It's not navy blue, I'm sorry. It is deep midnight blue. I wanted to make sure I didn't confuse you. Um, do the Georgia clay here and here. I'll do the copper um, again on here here and then I'm going to kind of go in reverse, do the deep color of blue. <clears throat> I probably need to speak up the turquoise that I mixed. Okay, and um, on this one, I have not used the yellow yet, but I'm going to put the metallic gold. Do the chocolate brown. This one I need to do orange. I have not done orange. I'm going to go back to the red. And the orange there. And I have not got red. Put more orange in this one. I'll do the Georgia clay. That one doesn't have turquoise yet. I'm going to do the turquoise there. And then navy. Okay, I'm going to do copper here. Here, 
here and here. The yellow gold here. Actually, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a layer everywhere. And I'm do the brown. I actually try to use a little bit more water in these but not a lot. I just want them to be more fluid so they would you know, run around on the canvas a little bit better. Um, maybe here. Turquoise. Georgia clay. Red. And on here, Georgia Clay. I'm trying to balance out the colors, but not balance out the colors. I, you know, I'm trying to get them to where they're kind of, all the colors are in all the different areas of the corners and things but not necessarily in the same order. So, I don't want that orange and red together for sure. Then I'm gonna do, let's see. Don't have any brown or black left, so. I haven't used the metallic gold in a bit, so we'll do the metallic gold. Orange. Charge flying.
Okay. So now, the fun part begins, and the messy part. This, that I'm going to try to catch my paint in. This thing is heavy with paint. So basically I'm just trying to get it to the most of the surface of the canvas before I let it pour off. These puddle pours are so super messy. So there it is. So there's a petal pour with coconut oil, which gives you all these cells, and there's a lot of them. This is the only part bothering me. So I'm going to have to figure out something here. Technically, I'm trying not to swipe, but just trying to get some other colors in the middle of that gold blob. Actually, I'm going to use my heat gun.
I always have my colors in squirt bottles. I wanted to do it from cups because it was a petal pour, but with this one, um, I just wanted to add a little bit. I probably screwed up the middle of that, but anyway. covering the areas that are um, a little short on the paint where probably uh, I put a little too much coconut oil in <laughs> and so it's uh, separating and going straight down to the canvas so um, I get carried away with uh, silicone and coconut oil and anything that makes cells Uh, it's I really kind of am loving it. The cells are really beautiful. So I'm trying to bring it up close here. Let's see that corner. So there it is. I'll post a picture at the end of the video with the dry um, canvas. So there is my very colorful puddle pour with silicone, well, coconut milk oil.